Hi guys, welcome back to the EC Physio YouTube channel. I see saddle height adjusted incorrectly in so many of my bike fits. Today's video will show some compensation patterns for incorrect saddle height and some examples of what a correct saddle height looks like. I'll include a quick guide on setting up your own saddle height at the end. Let's have a look at the research. This study looked at how saddle height affects cycling economy. It was found that VO2, or the amount of oxygen used during cycling, increased as saddle height increased. This study looked at how saddle height affects power output. It was found increased power output when saddle height was within an optimal range. There are multiple studies in the literature that confirms this. Have a look at some of the articles I've linked in the description below. A common tell for when the saddle is set up too high is bilateral downward rocking of the pelvis. They are trying to reach too far to the bottom of the pedals. Have a look at a couple cases here. Another common tell is the knee angle. The literature indicates that a knee angle between 25 to 35 degrees at the bottom of the stroke is an optimal angle. That is quite a generalized recommendation, and the optimal angle likely varies between each individual, and a bike fitter would be able to find the optimal angle for you. And another example here where the knee angle is too open at the bottom. The third tell is a bit more subtle, and it's looking at the velocity at which the knee straightens during pedaling. It may take a trained eye to notice this, but if the saddle is set up too high, the knee will straighten too quickly at the bottom of the pedal stroke. It'll look like the knee flicks at the bottom. Here is some footage that highlights this. Now let's look at some examples of properly set up saddle heights. The pelvis remains stable. The knees are within a good range and more importantly, they straighten at an even speed throughout the entire pedal stroke. And here's another example of that. To set up saddle height correctly on your own, it's best to start low. Raise the saddle about 3-5 to five millimeters at a time and ride for about 15-20 to 20 minutes at a good effort. Keep raising it until you feel like your knee starts to feel choppy at the bottom of the pedal stroke, then start lowering it by about 3-5 to five millimeters. That should get you there. It would be ideal to film yourself on a trainer so you can have some visual feedback. Sometimes our proprioception or body awareness of our joints uh, isn't going to be 100% reliable. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about bike fit or would like to schedule an appointment, please get in touch.